Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Christy with Fantastic Finances and on this channel I talk about Velocity Banking and how to get you debt free very quickly. I wanted to start this video with this little um, thingy I have hanging on my wall here and it is a quote from the Willy Wonka movie and it says we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of the dreams and my dream for you all is to become debt free to find financial peace and i want to show you how quickly and easily it can happen so when we talk about <laughs> debt um, some people look at debt as a bad thing it is a bad thing if you're upside down in it and if you are using it incorrectly but if you are controlling the debt and it's not controlling you, there is total peace in that. And I can teach you how to come to that space in your life. So let's talk about uh, credit cards. And the reason I want to talk about credit cards today is because Christmas is upon us and is passing quickly. And I see all this shopping. I see all the spending and I think to myself, when I see those cards swipe, I'm like, I hope you have that under control. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I am a credit card advocate. I like credit cards. I think they are a beautiful debt weapon that we can use to get rid of uh, bad debt. The bad debt is going to be your amortized loans mortgages, student loans, car loans, bad debt. And I will tell you why. An amortized loan If you hear amortized loan run, they're killing you with interest, okay? So if you have a 4% interest rate on a home loan, say, do you know that you could really take, let me give me another marker. That one is not writing well. You can take a four times two, which is eight, and add a zero. That's closer to what you're really paying is 80% on your mortgage. If you take an amortized schedule, uh, enter it. If you go on your app, I have it. Yeah, I have an app here. It's Carl's Mortgage Calculator. Carl, let me write that. You can go look it up yourself if you don't believe me. Carl's. If you look up any mortgage you want, uh, any amount, and then put in your interest rate, the 4%, the going rate right now is 6.25%, you put in that into Carl's, and it is going to show you what your monthly payment is. If you tab on through, you will see that it will show you a summary of what you're actually going to be paying by the end of that loan, which is ridiculous because you have bought your home and you bought the bank a home. So congratulations. They are very happy that you stuck in that for 30 years. I'm going to tell you what's even worse is when you are paying those mortgage payments and most of the interest is up front. So if you have a $1,500 payment, uh, you can count on most of that going towards your interest. So I have a couple, uh, they have a $700, they have a $1,500 payment, but it is um, with the escrow account. So the actual amount for the mortgage is $787. Then they have $400 and $84 in interest, okay? That goes towards interest. Then that would leave a three, eight, 303 is going into the actual principal, right? Well, the thing is, is they've had this loan for seven years. 
they've already refinanced it once. They're seven years into it, and now they're getting $303 out of a $787 payment, which is actually a $1,500 payment with escrows figured in. But this, uh, this is the whole payment. This is what's actually the mortgage part. And then $484 per month is going nowhere. It's just going to the bank. That's what we need to get away from. So with the credit card debt, I kind of get off on mortgages because, like I said, you take your mortgage rate times two and put a zero at the end, that's more like what you're paying in interest. So let me wipe this off here. Let's get back to credit cards. As we're talking about Christmas spending and what it is doing to us. So the amortized loan was what I just showed you. And that is your home loans, mortgages, whatever you call it, whatever you want to call it, mortgages, your car loans, and your student loans. Usually when a loan says loan uh, mortgage, you are talking about an amortized loan that has a set scheduled payment every month, okay? Now, the credit cards, they, a credit card or a line of credit, anytime you hear a line of credit, LOC, you are talking about the simple interest, okay? So simple interest is so much better than amortized, okay? Simple interest is high, like you're talking 18 to 26% on most of your credit cards, right? An LOC line of credit, you can get through a credit union most of the time, and they can still run around 7, 8, 13 percent. But that absolutely kills the 4 percent rate that you're getting over here on your mortgage. So with a credit card, all this credit card spending that's going on for Christmas, let's just talk about this. So with your credit card, if you have spent $10,000 on Christmas, which that would be ridiculous, right? Uh, we're talking, I would say most people, 2000 I know myself, I can even get really crazy with Christmas and uh, like it could go up to 4000 maybe more usually. But $10,000, let's say you spent that at Christmas times your 21% or, you know, whatever. Let me get the calculator here. So if you're paying a 21% on 10,000, that is 2,100 a year divided by 365. That's $5.75 a day in interest, okay? So times 30 is $172.60 a month interest, okay? So you're saying, well, what am I supposed to do about this? Because I had to buy Christmas and I get that. But what if you were to come in and let's say that when your check, your January check, we'll just start with January, 2023. Let's say that your income paycheck, whatever you call it, goes into the bank. What if immediately you took your income and you throw it into that credit card. And let's say that you make 5,000 a month and you have 3,000 in expenses. 
What would that do to the balance of your credit card? If your income is $5,000 a month, you have a $10,000 balance on a credit card. And let's say you need to even keep out uh, $1,000 for your mortgage. So it's just $4,000. What if you took and you put that into your credit card? And then you turned around and you paid all of your expenses out of your credit card. You paid your electric bill. You paid your food. You paid your gas. You paid your subscriptions. Uh, your cable bill. Maybe your water bill, your Culligan bills, your alarm system. Most things, doctor bills, can be paid out of a credit card. And so if you are putting 4000 in, it immediately drops that balance to $6,000. And you haven't lost a dime. You're going to use it because you have to pay all of this out, which is only $3,000 a month, right? Because that if we figure, you know, you have to figure your expenses. You have to know what you spend on your electric food, gas, you know, medical bills. You have to know what you're spending a month. Once you figure that out, you just make your credit cards your checking account. You put your money in, you bring your expenses out. That's why these are called revolving accounts. You put your income in, it lowers your balance, which if this is 21% for an entire year, you would pay 172.60 if you just leave this Christmas on here and then you're in debt next Christmas too. But if you did the 6,000, if you put in your money, your balance dropped to 6,000, let's just see what it would be then. Times 21% divided by 365, that is $3. So this one is $3.45 a day times 30 is 103.56 a month. Do you see how you cut that down almost $70 a month just because you changed up on how you were paying this bill instead of paying a $300 a month payment? You just deposit your income into it, take your expenses out. Mm. It's a no-brainer. We have got to change our mindset. We've got to understand that we can use these credit cards as a checking account. Once we do that, we drop this balance. So if you have a $6,000 balance and all of this stuff you do every month, let's say it comes to $3,000, okay? So when you, what can I write here? So when you, uh, have the $6,000 balance after you made the income deposit of $4,000. You will come in, you will take your expenses and add them back in because you need to pay for your gas. You need to pay for your food. So when your expenses are $3,000 coming out, then your balance will go back up to 9,000 slowly throughout the month. They charge the 21% interest on the average daily balance. So the lower you can keep this balance on this credit card, the less interest you're gonna pay. So, and the, so this is the first month, month one. Let me mark this off. Month two, you come in and you do it again. Income in for, uh, Minus that, Ugh. minus four thousand, because that's your income for the month. Brings your balance down to five thousand dollars. Then your expenses go out again, so we got to add them back in. Three thousand, and there's five thousand. Nope, I'm sorry, that's eight thousand. I make that an eight, yeah, eight thousand. So now we've got an eight thousand dollar balance. We keep doing this. How long do you think it's going to take you to pay off that credit card? 10 months, right? 10 months 
you're ready for next Christmas because you've got this paid off. We're ready to go again. You're doing nothing but paying your um, income in, your expenses out. You have cleared a $10,000 balance and you are ready for next Christmas. It's that easy. That is the way we need to live. We need to change our mindset. Look at this credit card as something we can use as a checking account and let's use it and let's get these balances down. Let's get out of debt. Let's get rid of the Christmas debt and be happy doing it. Be in control of your finances. That's where I want to see you. If you have any questions or comments, if I've made any mistakes, please uh, leave me a comment below. Also, I have links below that you can uh, schedule a call with me, a one-on-one -on -one consultation, and I would be glad to discuss any questions that you have about this because I want to see you debt-free, and I am willing to help you do that. And I look forward to speaking to you. Thank you, and have a terrific day.